welcome back to the channel it's a bit windy out here actually in the garden um smash a like on the video and hit the subscribe button right listen so harvey barnes has been linked to aston villa and west ham 40 million pound is the asking price for leicester for harvey barnes english player premium there as well because he can, could get into the england squad if you put his mind to it um, probably not this season, I, I wouldn't say he's been at his best. Um, very one-dimensional player, uh, says TalkSport, and I kind of agree. He, he's kind of like, likes to just run down that left side, cut in and get a shot on goal every time. He's almost quite easy to read these days. Um, but look, Aston Villa are looking at him and now West Ham are now interested in Harvey Barnes as well. Two years left on his deal at Leicester. Uh, Personally, I think I'd rather I think I'd rather keep Harvey Barnes if we're going to get rid of a couple of players uh, and keep a couple of players. I prefer to try and keep Harvey Barnes um, for the championship. I think he would smash it. Um, he's obviously got experience playing, you know, at lower level with West Brom out on loan, um, and I think. I think we need to hang on to, to Harvey Barnes. Uh, what are your thoughts on Harvey Barnes, by the way, in the chat? Let me know. But, uh, I don't even know why Aston Villa are looking at him, really, to be honest. Um, haven't they got enough players as it is? Uh, speaking of which, uh, Castagna is also heavily, heavily involved now with Arsenal. Arteta is looking at getting a couple of centre mids and uh, potentially a left back or right back. Well, Castagna is that kind of player uh, for Belgium he plays left back uh, for Leicester he plays right back and he can he can play both sides really even for a club country that really matter so I think he's actually better as a left back than a right back um, I think we was our strongest when Castagna was at left and Ricardo was at right when there was no injuries and no collar bone fractured to the face and no ACLs on Ricardo and we had a ridiculous top six side we should have competed in Champions League football but never mind that's a long time ago now um, this flipping badge is reminding me of those good times uh, through good times and the bad we always bat the lads apparently um, but yeah Castagna is heavily linked to Arsenal I don't know uh, the asking price on that one um, but I can probably guess it would be about 20 mil, 25 mil max for a player like Stanley, Belgium international. Um, you know, got an FA Cup behind him. I think I think that's about fair, 20, 25 mil. But uh, like I say, the big news that's come in today is Aston Villa and West Ham are now on the chase, uh, including Newcastle for Harvey Barnes. Um, as previously reported, Newcastle looking at Harvey Barnes and Madison for £80 million all in for both players. Um, but yeah, Villa are now looking at raiding another player as they've already announced the signing of Yori Tiedemans. And the real reason for Yori for going to Villa in the end was clearly because he didn't want to move to the lovely area of Quorn in Leicestershire uh, because his kids are settled at school and whatnot. Probably didn't just didn't want to disrupt their education and where they're settled, I suppose. Um, but I'm still a bit ticked off with the Yori one, to be honest. You know, it was here for two years and uh, here for two years, here for four years, whatever it was. Uh, in the last two years, he's kind of been hanging around, waiting for a big six side to bring him in, and it's not happened. And I feel like if he'd have just focused and maybe got the extension as well at Leicester, we could have sold him for some money now um, to Aston Villa. You know, I, I really kind of feel a little bit let, let down by the fact that he's he strung that out for so long and then ended up going to no offense to Aston Villa a massive historical side one European glory and stuff but not the move that we all thought he was trying to go for you know um, so I am disappointed in that move for Yuri Tillemans he probably isn't you know it works out for him still in Premier League football you know at a side that's still close quite close from Leicestershire um, so I suppose it doesn't disrupt his personal life and he can still remain in the Premier League and keep his well make try and maintain his international level at Belgium I suppose so but there you go that is kind of the roundup for today um, not a lot going on about the Leicester manager we're still waiting for for the announcement of potentially Scott Parker well obviously as soon as that happens you'll hear from me 
on the channel um, until then smash the likes and uh, hit the uh, subscribe button if you can and follow me on socials at lee underscore chapit and keep up to date on here by clicking the uh, the bell and get notified when i upload and go live just see you very very soon Never quit.